The most successful Irish company, supposedly, is CRH. CRH has a kind of pretty, it's got a pretty good profit record, but it hasn't had much competition. And CRH is a company which disturbs me. Because CRH, only last year, was fined 26, 26 million euros for non-competitive practice in Poland. That's an awful lot of money. I think it's based on a, it's based on a percentage of turnover. And I'm told, and I'm under contradiction, that the practices which it was found guilty of in Poland are practices which it is happy to practice here in Ireland. And I have to ask the question, why has CRH been the subject of so, so many investigations overseas, in Poland, and in Europe, and has not been the subject of investigations in Ireland? I, CRH was fined in Europe by the European Court in the mid-90s. It was fined again last year in Poland. There have been ma many complaints made about this company by various groups of people who claim, one of them is a group called Framus, who have for 15 years been campaigning on the CRH issue, a small group of private cement uh, industrialists. They've been complaining many, for many years about the activities of CRH. And year after year after year, small concrete producers have claimed that price fixing, price fixing cartel type activities, all sorts, and all sorts of uh, activities which the competition authority would disapprove of and condemn, and indeed would outlaw, have been practiced by CRH but any effort to get their case to the competition authority has been refused or frustrated. Now, why is that? The evidence appears to be quite clear from overseas that CRH is not the white sepulchre of a company, which it's made out to be. The evidence appears to be that when they look at the activities of CRH overseas, they find that they have been indulging in activities of which we would not approve here. But the evidence is quite clear that the competition authority here has refused to carry out a whole scale investigation in what's happening. And this company, let's face it, is a quasi-monopoly company. It's got one or two competitors, but in effect it has huge amount of dominance. It's exactly the type of company that we should be beware of. That sort of company leads to abuses, that sort of activity leads to abuses, that sort of dominance leads to abuses. But the abuse could be tolerated if we were sure that the abuse would be investigated. But we're not sure of that. And what I'd like the Minister to respond to it in this if he can, is to say what is, the evidence is there, the guys have been there, the numbers are there of small producers of concrete and, and cement complaining. What is stopping a serious investigation by the competition authority here? Is it just simply resources, or is it they think that there is no case? Because the evidence appears to be that it's the resources which is stopping it, rather than the lack of actually a, 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 a case against the company. And I would appeal to them not to take what I suspect is the attitude, CRH, is like a lot of other companies in Ireland. It's too big to tackle. And you know, we've learned a lot about companies being too big to tackle. What they are is accidents waiting to happen. And in the past, we've seen it with the banks, we've seen it with the Quinn, with the Quinn Group, we've seen it with all companies which get themselves, private companies, which find themselves in a monopoly situation. They abuse it. Governments refuse to take them on. How is it that so many companies which have dominance have got themselves into so much trouble in the end? And I think we've got to be very, very careful about this particular one. And what the public needs, and I think what small companies need, and those who've been put out of business by CRH need, is at least they deserve to be reassured that an independent investigation will be held and can be held. 
and they will then be reassured if CRH is, whatever the findings are, that at least we are not sparing people in business or businesses because they're as powerful as the government or because they've got good connections in the right places. And that has always been the situation in Ireland as regards business. Big business is too close to government. Big banks were too, cl too close to government. Big business has too many people who have the ear of people in positions of power. And CRH is no exception to that. And people in Europe stand and stare when they find out that there really hasn't been any proper investigation of this particular monolith in Ireland. So I appeal to the minister, not just to come forward and say, look, we're doing something about competition. We're fining people an awful lot more money. We're, in, we're going to have far, far bigger, uh, far longer in terms of imprisonment. I don't think anybody actually has been, but we're going to have far longer terms of imprisonment, but not giving us, okay, I'm, I'm finishing, but not giving us the reassurance that we need that there will be detection so that this will be prevented and not giving us the insurance we need that there will be investigations on an impartial scale. This is an opportunity to tackle the largest company in the state and to say, we are prepared to challenge you, powerful as you are. And I'd ask the minister to take those words and to take that proposal extremely seriously.